Hi, my name is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of MyAmazonGuy.com. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how to do a removal order on Amazon. If you need any coaching, go to MyAmazonGuy.com and in the top right, you can hit book a coaching call today. All right, so let's say you've got some inventory at Amazon. You need to, get, need to remove it for various reasons. That could be because you're overstocked and you want to reduce your fees. Could be because you've got some unfulfillable inventory like you see here on the screen. So there are two core things I'm going to teach you today. Number one, I'm going to show you how to manually do a removal order. And number two, I'm going to teach you how to set up an automatic removal order. And both of these are, are really helpful for various reasons. So, so to get to this screen, you put your cursor over inventory and you can click on remove unfulfillable inventory after you've clicked on the manage inventory button. Go to remove unfulfillable inventory. That'll bring you to this screen. Now, if there's certain inventory you want to remove, you can come in and check whichever one makes the most sense. Or if you want to remove everything, you select all actions, create removal order. Hit yes, continue. That'll bring you to this screen. And here you can type in the address. Now, um, two things to note. You can, you can remove inventory by disposal. That costs 10 cents a unit. Or you can ship it. That costs 50 cents a unit. Um, Amazon does some automatic refunds or clawbacks depending on, um, you know, if, an, if a, an item gets damaged in a warehouse or if an item is returned in damaged state. However, I would say about 40% of the items that you're owed money from Amazon are not paid to you unless you request them. So often doing a removal order is a good way to get proof of those damages, take some pictures and, and submit a ticket. Additionally, there's also services out there. One of the ones that I um, run is called My Refund Guide. And this is a fully automated service where we go in and we claw back money that Amazon owes you depending on the items that are damaged. So if you haven't got a service in, in uh, intact right now to claw back money out of Amazon for FBA damages, lost and damaged units, refunds, mishandled returns, lost inbound shipments, this is worth its weight in gold. Within two weeks, you're going to have a deposit in your account for thousand plus dollars on average based on what I see from most clients. All right, so back to the removal order. So you come in here and type your address, and then you can select which units to remove if you want to remove any of the unfulfillables or if you got some fulfillable ones. And then you can, you can continue on to the next screen. It'll then generate an order. And that order at any point in time, if you want to go back and see the removal order, you go to manage orders and you can look it up. Um, it'll also send you an email confirmation once the removal order is complete. All right, so that's how to do a removal order. The second thing I want to sh show you is how to automate this. So in the top right of, of your settings, you can go here and click on Fulfillment by Amazon. That'll bring up this screen. And then in here, you can see a second called Automated Unfulfillable Removal Settings. Now, this is not set up unless you've purposely set this up. So if, if you've never done this, it'll be blank. So you come in here and hit Edit. And you can list in where you want it to send, how often you want it to send, and, and the location of where you want to send it to. You can put the email address. So let's say you've got somebody that's in charge of logistics in the warehouse. You want them to get all everything. You come in here and put their email address in. You can also schedule it. Um, so you know if you do it weekly, it actually costs you less money because you're not paying storage fees. Um, you, can, you can switch it to twice a month or once a month. It doesn't matter. And again, you can enable or disable this at any point for automatic removals and you can return and dispose it right here. So um, hopefully you guys like that. Um, hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions about Amazon in general, just post a question on, on the YouTube comment section. I, I'd be happy to address it. Um, again, you can sign up for a coaching call at myamazonguy.com or clawbacks at myrefundguy.com. All right, thanks so much.